I'm Jenny Fusillo and this is Major League Lacrosse. Today I'm speaking with Ohio Machine midfielder Kyle Harrison. Kyle, how are you doing today? I'm well, how are you? I'm doing great. Now Kyle, you came back in 2014 after a couple years off. What expectations did you have for yourself and how do you feel it went? Um, <clears throat> well, I think, you know, when you take a couple years off of anything you do and then you come back to it, there's always the anxiety, the, the self-doubt, the, the, you know, the, the worrying, are you going to be able to do it the way you did it before? So all, all that was certainly there. But, you know, at the same time, I'm fortunate in that I got to play for the national team and throughout all the training process for those couple years I was off. So I had still competed against some of those guys. Um, so coming back to the MLL, it wasn't as if I hadn't played against any of those players for four years. It was kind of um, almost better for me that I got to play against them more consistently, you know. And I, as each game went on, I got a little more comfortable. And so I guess to answer the question, how did it go? I, I think uh, it was solid. You know, clearly as an athlete, you're never satisfied. Um, we certainly didn't reach our goal of winning a championship, so there's, there's, there's a lot more work to be done. Now, from a team perspective, last season was your first playoff appearance. How do you come back in 2015 and continue to build that success? Yeah, you know, it's so interesting for me, as you mentioned earlier. So it was my first year last year, so I wasn't around the past few years that I guess they had really bad seasons, the 2-10 and 10 season, the 2-11 and 11 or 3-11, and 11, whatever it was. So for me, all I know of the Ohio machine is uh, a team that made the playoffs and a team that was a step away from you know competing for a championship. So as far as the next step, we have to do a better job of finishing everything we do. I think if you look at our team last year, we gave up a lot of goals at the end of quarters, at the end of halves. Um, sometimes you got beat on the ground ball fights. So for us, it's just about you know continuing to have that one goal, which is to win a championship. And everything we do from the first week of training camp through the, the end of the season has to be taking us a step closer to that goal. Now the 2015 season is here, and you were recently named captain. What does that mean to you? You know, I, I think... Um, if you can have the respect of your teammates, that's pretty much all I care about. So years from now when I'm no longer playing and, and you know, I, I look back at my career, being a captain of a team will, will be some of my proudest accomplishments. Now the machine definitely don't have an easy start to the season. They're starting off against the predicted top teams in the league, New York and Denver. What can we learn from the machine early on? Huh. It's a tough question. Um, you know, I, I think it's year two for our offense, right? We had a great offense last year, and we uh, it was our first year playing together. It was me, you know, my first league back, my first year back in the league. Peter Baum's first year in the league. Tom Schreiber's first year in the league. So that was our first year together last year. So I think in season two, we expect to take another jump uh, to the next level offensively. And then I think the exciting part about our team is our our defense is is going to have a different look to it. When you add a guy like Brian Carolunas, he causes so many problems all over the field. Um, and he, he really is going to change the face of our defense. So we're just excited. Well, that's great. Kyle, on a personal level, you are fortunate enough to make a full-time career out of lacrosse, not just by yeah. playing, but on with other business ventures as well. Talk about the growth of the sport and the role of players like yourself. Oh, gosh. I, I, I won't take too much credit for the growth of the sport, but I think, um, you know, I think anybody that's played this sport at any level feels some sort of... Uh, some sort of way about giving back to it and making sure it continues down the right path, whether that was a Division three player, a club player, a Division one player, whatever it was. Um, everyone feels this passion to like help it keep moving the right direction. So for me, I'm no different. I I've been very fortunate, as you mentioned, as far as being able to align myself with companies like STX, um, you know, Tomahawk Shades, I, I was, you know, Adrenaline, all, all these different companies I'm able to work with. I'm certainly fortunate and I don't take it for granted. And, and I think um, if we all just continue doing our part, whether that's on social media, or whether that's staying after games, hanging out with kids, whether that's getting to Idaho or some random area to, to do a clinic and help spread the game, I think uh, it'll keep headed the right direction. Well, thanks for talking with us, Kyle. Good luck this season. Thanks. Appreciate it.